Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Before we actually get into the reading, I want to give you guys a quick update. I will be uploading from here on out every Tuesday and every Friday. I know it's been extremely difficult for me to try to do everything because I do genuinely do everything um, by myself. So with that of uh, readings, consultations, healings, cleansings, um, you know, private consultations, spell work, everything has just been extremely crazy. I want to say this year has been an extremely roller coaster, but nonetheless, again, like I said, you guys don't have to be guessing when it's going to be the next day I actually upload a video or, you know, you don't have to worry about not getting notifications. You're going to already know. So you guys set that on your calendar here on out every Tuesday and Friday. It's going to be tarot. Or spell work, one or the other. But again, like I said, you guys already know that that's going to be the days I upload, okay? So anyways, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of June 2018. Scorpios, Scorpios. Okay, Scorpios. By the way, you guys, if you do... go. Uh, cross watch other videos or whatnot you guys are going to completely see me in different type of clothing i have been trying to do all the readings for each zodiac sign but it's just been extremely difficult to do so um so i kind of work with them when i have free time to be able to give my full attention and concentration so anyways just wanted to put it out there so you guys don't message me like were you changing every single like yes because it is a different day so anyways uh, let's get right into your reading, uh, Scorpio. So the first card you have here in the general energies, this is your energy for the month of June. This could even be um, pass and passing type of energy. It's the high priestess for you guys. So this is a very Scorpio type of energy. Let's see what I pick up for you guys. Okay, so for the month of June, there's definitely going to be a lot of, um, I'm feeling having to make choices for a lot of you guys. This could have to do with relationships or business opportunities in regards to finances and how you guys make your money. It can even be an offering coming to you that perhaps you already sensed or you already felt like a promotion or some type of higher type of, um, higher type of, um, position that is going to be offered to you and perhaps because you've been working very hard and dedicating yourself to uh, whatever it is that you're doing in regards to your business or finances if you work for a company, uh, that type of energy. Now, the high priestess can also represent hidden truths. A lot of things being kept from you or being in the hidden. Nonetheless, I feel that by the month of June, there's definitely going to be a lot of clarity in regards to relationships. Again, like I said, clarity in regards to your finances, uh, perhaps that opportunity or that position you've been wanting is definitely going to come through for you. Uh, you're going to hear about it and you were waiting for a while uh, for that type of opportunity. And finally, it is manifesting for you. Now, your first card here is the page of pentacles. So the page of pentacles definitely talks about um, Okay, so for some of you guys, this could be your child. Uh, it could be an earth sign or just in general, a younger child um, between the ages of, you know, between the ages of 17 and under. Um, you guys may be dealing with this um, with your child. Um, give me one second. I'm getting different messages. Okay, so for some of you parents out there that are Scorpios, perhaps you're... At, your child is actually going from 17, going to becoming 18 or something to do with maturity. Their maturity level starts to actually go, um, become more aware, become more in tune. I want to say for some of you guys, it could be that you're currently going through a situation where your child is like, you notice that they're actually starting to have interest in the opposite sex. Um, and it kind of throws you off, like, what the hell? Like, oh, my God, my child is actually growing, uh, that type of energy. Because um, I definitely do see them very curious, but I feel that kind of like when they're hitting the peak of puberty. Um, and this could be a little bit intimidating for you, Scorpios, because you guys could be extremely possessive, uh, extremely, um, 
you know, you guys protect and care for the people you love. You try the best you can to be there for them and, and protect them is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, it could be a bit challenging for the month of June in regards to your children. Now, the next card is here, the Six of Pentacles. So these are two pentacle cards. Again, like I said, we did speak about abundance and prosperity in regards to your finances. So I definitely do see that this month is going to be like the perfect timing or uh, timing is of the essence. Perhaps some of you guys, it could um, even feel like you're not giving enough um, time to your children. You're not being able to give them um, attention because you're so busy working or working towards attaining a goal. Now, your next card here is the shadow, the shadow side. So this could definitely represent an earth sign, a Capricorn. Um, and the shadow side is a symbology of, you know, the devil card in the major arcana. Um, I don't feel that this is a negative, though. I feel that the shadow side next to the six of pentacles, you guys are extremely focused or you guys know exactly what it is that you want. And you're not going to be taking any BS. So again, like I said, if you hear about a position that perhaps you've been working really hard to actually attain or to actually get, the moment you hear about it finally opening up, you're like, you know what, you're going to go to your uh, supervisor or higher ranking position or higher ranking authority. And you're going to be like, I've been busting my ass and I've been doing what I have to do. Um, give me this opportunity because I deserve it. And I feel that you guys are going to be very, very Scorpio like uh, definitely taking your own power back. Uh, for those of you guys that have been dealing with the toxic type of relationships where one or the other, either you Scorpio or your partner is extremely possessive and, or has been extremely possessive in the past or very jealous. I definitely do see progression in you guys finally being able to have like come to an agreement or come to an understanding. Uh, I do definitely see you guys coming together and pretty much setting on the table, the goals that you guys want to achieve or attain in regards to the relationship and being able to move forward, removing or letting go of toxic type of energies. For those of you guys that have been in a very toxic type of relationship where even violence could be involved, or your partner is actually, in fact, um, currently dealing with some type of addiction, I definitely do see that, again, with the Six of Pentacles and the Shadow side, this is definitely telling me that there's an indication of balance being restored. Um, perhaps they're deciding to actually go into uh, getting some type of help, professional help. Um, if it is psychological issues, perhaps you guys are going to be dealing with a lot of like psychologists or people around you, even family members or relatives that are that you're going to hear about that they're actually getting professional help. Now, finally, your last card here is the two of cups. So for some of you Scorpios, uh, those of you guys that are currently single, I definitely do see you guys linking up or having a deeper type of connection with an earth sign. Uh, this could be a Capricorn, again, like I said, because the shadow side is here and you guys have nothing but pentacles other than the two of cups. So again, um, I definitely see you guys communicating or dealing very often or going to be dealing with an earth sign. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but I definitely do see Capricorn type of energy. And perhaps this could be a person that you actually go for. Doesn't necessarily uh, represent um, like a, a love interest. It could be that you're actually going to this Capricorn or this Earth sign to get advice in regards to the relationship or in regards to um, them coming to you and telling you, hey, you know what? I just found out that so-and-so is actually single and I would love for you guys to actually get to know each other or go out on a blind date or something like that. And that's where that connection happens. It comes in through friends or family members. For those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, again, like I said, you guys, I definitely do see you guys being more balanced for the month of June. Uh, for those of you guys that have been having like kind of a rocky type of relationship, I definitely do see you guys being able to come together and meet halfway um, and trying to overcome or surpass any, any type of issues in regards to possessiveness or jealousy. So this is actually very good type of energy for you guys. And finally, with the two of cups, um, having a mutual understanding or having a perfect harmony and balance in regards to your relationship. So very beautiful reading for you, Scorpios. Again, like I said, um, I do want to mention for those of you guys that are going to be dealing with like relatives or family members that are currently going through um, some type of transition in regards to addictions, try the best you can to support them. 
even if you don't understand that type of addiction, try to become knowledgeable about it so you could be a little bit more patient because I definitely do see you guys being very straightforward and sometimes being very straightforward could be a good thing, but I feel that in this case, it, it instead of helping them, you can actually hurt them. Uh, so try the best you can to be very mindful about that, Scorpio, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And like I said, now you know. From here on out, every Tuesday and Friday, I will be uploading. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.